Hi, how are you and how have you been? I know it's been long since I have recorded a video, but I thought, you know, it's time I should just get on and get something done. So here I am. And at the same time, we'll cover a very basic topic that all of us want to achieve. And that's nothing but being positive. Because when we are positive, I think we all know that our um, possibilities are limitless. So as you know, positivity is something that all of us want to be in. And that is the zone we want to always be at. So um, this is especially true if you are trying to move into a new career, you're trying to switch cities or countries maybe, you're trying business for the first time, anything that requires you to go through a complete set of change, it's very, very essential that we are, are, we are at our best, we are very positive during that period of time so we can achieve more and we can get more done. So today we'll talk about five simple ways that you know we can be in that zone of positive state. So the first one that we are going to talk today is about being aware. As you know, if you are aware, that's the first step in getting everything else done. Once you are aware, you're taking that first step to acknowledge the situation. And obviously it goes without saying that you will take the right measures to ensure that you are in the positive state of mind. So there are two ways you can actually achieve it. One is a very simple technique of using the five whys. The five whys are nothing but a simple technique of asking the, asking the question of why over and over again. So for example, if you say, I want to be in a positive state of mind, why? Because if I'm in a positive state, I will get more things done, I will get up in the morning, I will ensure my to-do list is completed by the end of the day, and things like that. Why? What happens if you complete the entire list by the end of the day? So if I complete, then, you know, I reach my objective, which is to start a new business or to write a book or to, you know, move, make, make friends in a new city. So the five whys actually help you get to the core of your belief or your thought process. Once you know why you are making the change or you're trying to get into that positive zone, it's much easier and simpler for you to stick to it. The other one is if you're a visual person. If you like a lot of visualization, this will help you immensely. And that's nothing but mind mapping. Mind mapping is a favorite technique of mine and I use it for my trainings, for my coaching and things like that. It's very simple way of laying down your thoughts in front of you. And all you do is you make a chain of whys and you answer different set of questions. At the end of your mind mapping technique, what happens is you find out what is your trend or what you're trying to achieve. You can even identify a pattern within yourself. And again, if you know why you're trying to be positive and you can see it in front of you, that is amazing. You can take that piece of paper or print it out and just put it in a mirror or in your car, anywhere that you can see it over and over again. And that is how you can always be aware that you're trying to change or be a much more positive person. The second technique that we'll talk today is about gratitude. And this is one of my favorite techniques. And the reason being is the shift is immediate. So you don't have to wait for things to happen within days or months or things like that. So my technique is simple. So for example, every day when I commute to um, my work from my home to work, I cross a couple of hospitals, I see you know so many people standing by the road and things like that and people commuting, people are busy, people are going crazy, they are angry. So I just practice and say I'm thankful, I'm grateful that I can afford to be in a situation on have my job that I love and do what I love and I hope you know somebody else has a good day today, you have surprises, a good surprise, you get your hike that you have been waiting for or if you have been sick I hope you get heal today, things are better for you, reports are good for you, things like that. And what happens is in a couple of minutes, you can see yourself going from a very bad mood or even in a state of anxiety or depression to going, you know, being much more positive and being grateful and your vibration shift is immediate. The third point is visualization. So if you really want to get something done, there are always so many articles and books that say you should visualize because if you visualize, it gets imprinted in you much more faster. And I couldn't agree with it more. So there are three techniques that I use for visualization and you don't need a lot of investment or things that you need to buy. You can do with simple stuff that you have lying around in your home. So the first one is obviously using a whiteboard. So if you have a whiteboard or a couple of sticky notes, you can just use your window or your door or anything else and you can stick things and say, these are the things I want to achieve. 
The second way you can try visualization is by using Pinterest. If you have a Pinterest account, it's a wonderful way of accessing lots of images that are uploaded by so many wonderful people. And you can create your own visualization board by having a board that helps you reach your objective. The last point of visualization is something called a visualization diary. It's nothing but a simple way of cutting down your favorite pictures or quotations or words and putting it in a piece of paper or a chart paper or a diary. And again, you go through it in the same way as you would go over a Pinterest board or a simple sticky note board. The next point is confirmation and affirmation. So I'm sure you figured out by now it's very, very important to confirm and reaffirm what you're trying to do and why you want to be positive. You can write it down on a piece of paper. You can uh, tell it to yourself. I also have a simple way of keeping it in my phone uh, in the notes section and sometimes I go through it. So if I'm having a really bad day at work or uh, things haven't been going according to my plans, I'll just go through it once in a while. So it's handy. It's with you all the time and you can just you know, bring it out and go through it. It takes a couple of seconds. The last point that we have is reflection. So you can have all the plans, but at the end of the day, you should sit down and think what you're trying to achieve and how much you have achieved or the path or the strategy that you're looking for or you've created. Is it helping you reach that objective? If not, go ahead and change it anytime, right? We should know what we are trying to do and what we want to achieve. If you want to be in a positive state of mind and if you're trying it over and over again, you will be positive. There could be days when you slip, there could be days when you, you know, can't get up in the morning and probably practice gratitude or you have too much self-doubt and that's okay to have, just let it go and then come back to it again next morning. For me, I always think that I can't be happy all the time. So you shouldn't be running after happiness because it has its ups and downs. You can't be happy 24-7. For me, what is more important is being content and peaceful within myself. If I can be content, that's something I can sustain over time. There will be ups and downs, but I know I have done my best and I'm trying my best. If you want, you can also hop over to my website, steppingintopm.com, and there are a number of resources on ways how you can get back to your zone of positivity and productivity. I hope you have a lovely day and thank you very much.